Hi everybody, welcome back to Kids Draw For Fun. Today we're gonna continue with the uppercase letter series, but we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna work on the uppercase letter U. However, this time I'm gonna try something new on my iPad. I'm gonna use an app called Procreate that I just got, it's pretty cool. And I'm not gonna use it for all of them. However, I just wanna try it out because I think you'll enjoy it and I think it'll be pretty cool. So we're gonna do the uppercase U and we're gonna learn to draw a sea urchin because U is for urchin. Okay, are you ready? Grab your pencils, here we go. go over to the left side here what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start up top we're gonna pick our point we're gonna pull straight down and then we're gonna start curving it towards the front along the bottom line and then start curving it straight back up to the top line and stop and that's it very simple uppercase U let's move up to the writing lines and try it here all right we're gonna pull straight down Pass the dotted lines, curve it towards the bottom. Now start curving it straight back up to the top and stop once you hit the top line. Slide over and we'll do another one. Straight down, curve it at the bottom, curve it back up top and stop. Okay, now do the third one on your own. All right, here's my third one. Pull straight down, curve it around the bottom, straight back up to the top. Okay, now let's learn to draw a sea urchin. Okay, so a sea urchin is round and it has a lot of spikes all around it, all over it. So we're just gonna do some up and down zigzags going in the shape of a circle and we're gonna go all the way around, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And just keep going until you connect it all the way at the beginning where you started, okay? Just watch as I do it and then you try. All right, so let's make this a happy sea urchin. We're gonna give it two big eyes, two circles, and then in those circles, we'll draw smaller circles and leave a little part of it in the top corner and we'll keep that part white and then we'll color in this part black. Awesome. Here we go. Let's give it some happy eyebrows and a nice big smile. Right now it reminds me of a sunshine, but we have to add all of these little spikes all over it. We're gonna do up, down, up, down. It's gonna be, it looks like an upside down V almost. And then once we get to the bottom and start doing that shape below the mouth, it's gonna go upside down and it will actually look like a regular V. Watch here as I start to get to it. See how I'm turning the shape so that it's going along with the outer edge. Try to do it like that. And then we'll fill in the rest of the sea urchin because literally a sea urchin is just covered in these things. I don't know if I'd wanna pick one up because it might hurt. Now we're gonna add some color. So I think I'm gonna make my sea urchin let me get a couple more here. I think I'm gonna make my sea urchin purple. So I'm gonna go up to my palette. You could just go into your crayon box or your colored pencils, whatever you're using. Pick your color. I selected my purple and I'm gonna drag it down here and just drop it like that. And that's one of the cool things about this app on my iPad is that you just drag the color down and it fills it in. I'm gonna do some details since this is a quick video. I'm gonna get some sand underneath because these sea urchins hang out at the bottom of the ocean or the bay. 
So I'm going to add some details. Let's see here. So I added some sand. And now I think I'm going to add some seagrass after I finish with the sand. So I'll go back up to my palette. I'll select my greens. Find a good green. Then I'm just going to do some long squiggly lines going all around it. And it'll make it look like it's hiding in the seagrass underneath the ocean. Now here's where it gets really cool. Since we're under the ocean in the water, I'm going to select a lighter blue. And then I'm going to bring the opacity, which means you can kind of see through it. I'm going to bring it all the way down. And I'm going to just color over everything. Now you can't really do this with crowns or markers or colored pencil unless you do it really light. But you don't have to. I would just color around it if I were you. But since this is what this is made for, I figured I'd just show you how it works. Okay, starting to look pretty good. Yep, let me take a picture. And there it is. U is for sea urchin. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much, as usual, for watching. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up sign. Give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to our page below. All right? And as always, come back for more. Until then, keep drawing.